portion of Maasai begins with a description of the 42 journeys that the Jewish people made from Egypt to their arrival at the eastern side of the Jordan. The Baal Shem Tov, the founder of the Hasidic movement, maintains that everybody makes these 42 journeys in the course of their lifetimes. We'll explain. Why is it necessary to enumerate specifically all the different places that the Jews went? Many of the places are not mentioned anywhere else in the Chumash except for right here. So if you analyze when each journey was made, we can really see how merciful the Almighty was to the Jewish people. We know that the Jews wandered in the desert for 40 years and we have this image in our mind of the Jewish people aimlessly wandering after the sheep. But if you look, you'll see, if you subtract the journeys that were made in the first seven weeks up until Sinai, and then subtract also the last journeys that were made in the last year, it comes out that there were 19 journeys in 38 years. And of those 19 journeys, they spent 19 years in Kaddish. So they spent a grand total of 19 years, 38 journeys. The Almighty was directing them and their every move. But they weren't aimlessly wandering. They were well taken care of. So too also, most people do a lot of here, of here and too. Going back and forth. And it seems like we move here, we move there, and that nothing is getting accomplished. We don't hear anything about these accomplishments, but we really never know what it is that we're able to accomplish. There's a story, we're in the summertime now, that two yeshiva students went to Oklahoma during the summer to encourage Jews and get them more involved with their Judaism. And they came back with a report that they had met no one and that their trip to Oklahoma was a total waste of time. When they reported back to the Rebbe, the Rebbe took out a letter from a woman who wrote the Rebbe and said that when she saw these two yeshiva students walking on the road and when were wearing black hats and their tzitzis, it reminded her of her youth and she resolved right then to be more involved with her Yiddishkeit. The point being is we really don't know what it is that we're accomplishing but we know that the Almighty is directing us to every place so that we can accomplish. That's what we're here for and that's what we're trying to do. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.